So we're going to deal with some exponential growth here. <clears throat> and if we have an account that has an annual growth rate of 4.5%, what is the continuous growth rate? So we have two forms of exponential functions. We have AB to the T and AE to the KT or RT, either or. And the big difference is, you know, this is typically made with an annual rate. This is made with a continuous rate. Now we're not concerned about what the initial amount is. We're not concerned about what t is. But notice that if I were to cancel out the a's and cancel out the t's, what I'm left with is that b equals e to the k. That's how these two are related. Now because I've, I'm given an annual growth rate of 4.5%, I know that my growth factor is 1.045. We just add 1 to it. If I were given a continuous rate of 4.5%, I would put 0.045 in for k, calculate e to the 0.045, and I could get my growth factor, subtract 1 to get my annual growth rate. We're going the other direction. So we have 1.045 equals e to the k. Well, we can rewrite this as a logarithm, and in fact, we'll use natural log because of the e. So natural log, which is base e, of 1.045 equals k. That's always the case. This rewritten is always going to be ln of b equals k. So to get your continuous growth rate, you just need to take the natural log of the base of your exponential function. And then it's just a matter of putting it in the calculator. So ln of 1.045, and we turn it into a percent by multiplying by 100. And so the continuous growth rate would be 4.4%. And it makes sense that it's a little bit lower because it's being continuously compounded. So it's going to catch up to that 4.5% in a single year. In the second problem, population of bacteria is growing exponentially. Initially, when t equals 0, there's 1,000 organisms. After an hour, there are 2,500. How much present after 4 hours? Okay. So... We can, let's go ahead and set up our exponential model. I'm going to use AB to the T, but you could also use the AE to the KT. That's fine. I already know my initial amount. It's 1,000. B, and what I need to find is B. Well, I know that after one hour, there will be 2,500. That is enough information to solve for B, because B to the 1 is just B. So I'm going to divide both sides by 1,000. And I get that b equals 2.5. So now that I've built my exponential model, 1,000 times 2.5 to the t, with t in hours, because I, I used hours to build it, um, I can find out how many after 4 hours by putting in 4 for t. And now we can bring out our calculator. And we have 1,000 times 2.5 to the fourth. And we get about 39,000 bacteria will be present after four hours. So this is not the only way to do this problem. But one way of doing it is to build our exponential model and then apply um, uh, the four hours to our model.